Welcome to The Morning After, I'm Matt Smith, and yes, I'm still not the famous one. This week, everyone is coming for OpenAI and ChatGPT. Yes, both Google and Microsoft have announced evolved versions of their chat bots, even if Microsoft's upgrades are based on OpenAI and ChatGPT. But it must be nice if even Google is jealous of your success. Let's jump in. Google has introduced its most capable large language model to date, and it is called Gemini. Why Gemini? Good question. It does mark the combining of two separate AI labs within Google, and is also paying tribute to NASA's Project Gemini, which eventually led to the Apollo missions to the moon. Or because Sundar Pichai himself is, in fact, a classic Gemini. I'm a Gemini. Fact checked, he actually is. Born June 10th, that's a Gemini. Pichai says this is a first in a new wave of more capable large language model AI systems, inspired by the way we already interact with the world. Gemini was developed from the ground up as a multimodal AI. That means, I think, it can take in all kinds of inputs, whether that's text, images, or even video. Gemini is being made into three versions, Nano, Pro, and Ultra. Nano itself will be an on-device kind of AI, which we're probably likely to see in things like Android, while Pro is being integrated already into Google Bard. That's Google's existing chatbot. This new and improved Bard is available to test out now, and it should offer more accurate interpretations of your requests, as well as more accurate and more creative answers. That is, at least according to Bard itself. Gemini Pro apparently outscored ChatGPT 3.5 on six out of eight AI benchmarks. However, there are no comparisons between Gemini Pro and OpenAI's ChatGPT 4. Interesting. And then there's Gemini Ultra. Of course, there's an Ultra. Now, this won't be available until 2024 at the earliest and scored higher than any other existing AI model so far, even beating out GPT-4 on some benchmark tests. However, this Ultra flavor requires a little bit more testing before being cleared for release, which is one way of saying, yeah, this is probably the evil one. A couple of days before Google's announcement, Microsoft had its very own chatbot things to say. Yes, Microsoft's Copilot AI chatbot is integrating further with OpenAI's very latest models. That includes ChatGPT 4.0 Turbo. Now this means it will be able to accept up to 300 pages of instructions and queries and commands, hopefully making for even more precise results. On top of that, Copilot is introducing a rewrite tool where you'll be able to select blocks of text within Edge and get a bot re-edited version of it. And then you could take that and paste it into Google's Bard, which will rewrite that, then take that again and stick it into GPT, which will rewrite it again, and then it'll either be perfect or completely incomprehensible. It's only gonna be one or the other. Yes, it's yet another handheld gaming PC. This one is from Lenovo and it's called the Legion Go. Yes, it's a lot like the Steam Deck and all the subsequent handheld PCs we've seen since then. And it combines high level performance with an 8.8 inch OLED screen and even some design traits from the Nintendo Switch. By that we mean, yes, removable controllers. But there is even, and I'll whisper it because I put it in italics in my script, innovation. Because one of those controllers can even act as a mouse. You can simply lay it on the table and move it around and it is a mouse. Not the best mouse, but still, a mouse. It's a powerful but bulky $700 gaming machine. And part of that heft is due to a substantial battery, which means it should run all of your favorite games for around 90 minutes, depending on your performance settings. But it is really big. I mean, Sam, who's testing it out here in the video, he's seven foot four and he has hands like shovels. Anyway, check out our full review of that over at Engadget.com. Now, on to the other news. The mindfulness app Calm, already well known for its bedtime stories from celebrities, has announced it's doing a special edition with the AI ghost of Jimmy Stewart. The project received the green light from both Stewart's estate and family and sounds pretty good, at least until the Casper mattress ad kicked in. And to finish off, one of the biggest franchises in gaming is coming. GTA 6 got its first official trailer and is set to arrive at some point in 2025. It's what, Jess has done it already? Wow, palm trees, nice sunset. Oh, yeah, cool, yeah, and Gadget sets up two new video series, but one gets cool pixel art and a personable presenter, and the other one features me. She's got green screen as well. 
Yeah, I could see it. You told me I couldn't have green screen. You said we couldn't afford it because of Brexit. <sighs> well, anyway, watch the trailer. Oh, whatever. Just, yeah, I guess. And that was your morning after. Thanks once again for watching. Ignore me and make sure to check out Jess's new video series elsewhere on the Engadget YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe to this one if you like this one. And Jess's if you've got nothing better to do, I guess. Thanks once again for watching. I'll be back next week.